Maraming salamat, Mayor Bonching, sa iyong pagpakilala sa akin at saka sa magandang idea mong nagkakaroon itong iba't ibang mga cluster meetings. At uh, salamat naman, Mayor Tarsa Lasatin, kay Masanting Up, uh, mag-welcome you. Uh, Kiraing kikatang uh, kaluguran, manibat king uh, Mindanao. And I'd like to thank, congratulate also uh, Mayor Dennis for uh, hosting uh, this, uh, some of the affairs here. And of course, Mayor Abalos and all of the mayors of Mindanao, according to Mayor Abalos, some of you, it's the first time you come to Clark. So welcome to my home province of Pampanga. We're meeting at a very important time in the history of our country, when the world has been shaken by a global economic crisis. But thank God, we are one of the few nations out of the two-thirds of the world that went into a recession, we are one of the one-third that withstood the onslaught and kept our growth positive. Part of the reason is that the bitter and unpopular medicine of economic reform that we did years ago, thanks to the help of our congressmen like Congressman Tarzan Lasatin, helped to create a firewall that softened the pressures arising from the global economic downturn. Hindi ba madalas may sunog sa mga probinsya, pati sa Manila, kung dikit-dikit yung mga... Yung mga barong-barong, lahat nasusunog. Pero kung meron kayong firewall, hindi umaabot sa kabila ng pader yung sunog. And our economic reforms caused that firewall. That is why we are able to maintain positive growth, not only this during econ this global economic downturn, when the world two-thirds went into recession, but for 34 uninterrupted quarters of our administration. Yung sinasabi natin noon na palalakasin ang ating economy, economy ng mga tax reforms natin, napatunayan dito sa recession because the world recession showed our economy is stable and strong. <laughs> yung growth natin sa second quarter of this year mas mabuti pa kesa sa growth ng first quarter. At yung ating inflation, isa sa pinakamababa, halos sirong ating inflation ngayon sa buong kasaysayan ng ating bansa. So we are ready for the economic rebound. And our macroeconomic stability is a major strength that will put us in a stronger position as an attractive investment and business destination. Halimbawa, Kahit na sa Mindanao, umabot na yung ating mga business processing and call centers. Doon sa Davao, meron na. Sa Cagayan de Oro. Our, so our business processing, outsourcing, and call center industry continues to boom. Our tourism is way up. Our manufacturing sector na bumaba nung uh, recession, it's picking up again. New construction continues unabated. Kung dumaan kayo sa Metro Manila, panay, makikita nyo mga cranes, construction cranes. And our businessmen, our hotels, are full of businessmen from around the world. So overall, I am quite bullish about our prospects for solid recovery. Imagine two-thirds of the world went into a recession, Tayo hindi, hindi lang ito, nagkaroon pa tayo ng credit upgrade. At siguro dapat maalala natin, ang situation ngayon compared to 2001, nung nagsimula lang tayo. Kasi ngayon, kapaligiran natin, marami naghihirap na bansa, tayo umaangat. Noong 2001, Asia was surging, but the Philippines was on the verge of bankruptcy. And do you remember, before our administration, you could not even get your ERA paid in full. 
But since then, what did we do? What are those economic reforms? We put new tax revenues in place so that we could pay for better health care. Nandiyan si Secretary Pinkoy Duque, inimbita ko para kasama natin ngayon. So that we could pay for a strong education system. So that we could pay for more roads. Gaya ng mga sinabi ni Congressman Tarzan Lasatin na na-witness sa kanyang distrito. So we could pay for more roads and ports. Binanggit ko yung ports. Kasi yung ating Roro system, that was for the very purpose of bringing Mindanao products to Luzon at a faster and lower cost. Di ba, Mayor? Nakatulong sa inyo. Doon naman sa Mindanao, ang dami natin natin kalsadang mga itinayo o nakompleto. Sa halimbawa lamang, yung pagadian sa Buanga Road, kumusta na? Siguro tapos na by now. It used to be called the longest road. Because it took the previous administration so long to build so little. Pero nakompleto natin. Tapos yung Cagayan de Oro Surigao Road. We've also improved that. And it has cut travel time and it has revived commerce in Agusan. We designed with our tax reforms housing policies to lift up our poorer citizens so they can live and raise a family with dignity. Our tax reforms also, even if agriculture is devolved, our tax reforms funded agricultural investments. And that is, a lot of it went to Mindanao, which is our food basket. They strengthened our farmers as the backbone of the nation, and they gave our farmers the modern tools to feed our nation and feed their own family. At higit sa lahat, siguro para sa inyo, ngayon buo na ang binabayad na ira ninyo. Di ba? <laughs> Hindi lang yon. We even pay the ira that past administrations owed you. At hindi lang yon, dahil sa value-added tax, kung tumataas yung value-added tax, tumataas din yung inyong ira. So, this year, you participated in the biggest VAT increase in history of 40 billion pesos for the local government. And I want to thank you for using your ira bonanza to contribute to our country's economic resiliency. At dagdag pa sa inyong ira, tinanong ko kay Monching kung briefing na kayo tungkol dun sa mga foreign assisted projects na nahahanap ng League of Mayors, League of Municipalities. So congratulations to Monching and the leadership of LMP. Because they found through their global engagement creative ways of having on top of your era additional projects funded by various development institutions. Tinanong ko kay Monching kung present niya yung Canadian Executive Service Organization. Uh, so it was presented on the first day. Kasama yun ang ating Commission on ICT, our own Commission on Information and Communications Technology. I understand that the Canadian Executive Service Organization and CICT helped to computerize the tax system of 43 towns in 